Yo, Anthony in Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn is in the house. Matthew here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com. And with the help of my GoPro camera, I'm going to show everyone something special. What can, there's only one frame that can be in a case this large. It is the Versace Limited Edition Retro from the Archive Collection. This is the frame that Biggie Smalls wore in every single video. Every picture you ever saw of him. Of course, comes with a little plastic sleeve on the temple to prevent them from rubbing together during shipping. It is part of the iconic Archive Edition Versace made in Italy. This is model number 4265. And the 57 eye size in the color is GB1, which is the classic shiny black and gold. Beautiful, beautiful sunglass frame with a giant Medusa emblem on each temple. This is it. Versace, Versace, Versace. And of course it comes with, let me set that down there, your Versace case, your Versace cleaning cloth, the card of authenticity, all the accoutrements. You get everything that Versace sends to me. You can go ahead and register it with Versace. And you will receive all of that when I ship back to you. Of course, free shipping anywhere in the United States. But let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to take out the original demo lenses. One of them has the little Versace emblem on there. Let me pop these out. I'm going to put them in the tray. And I'm going to put your Italian frame into my the tracing compartment of my edger. Pull up this shape. And hit start. The first thing that's going to happen, the stylus is going to pop up and it's going to trace the shape of the right lens before moving over and tracing the shape of the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy a genuine authentic Versace frame and you receive free clear single vision prescription or non-prescription fashion lenses. If you just want to rock these frames with clear lenses, my receipt has my federal ID tax number on there. So if you have vision insurance or flex dollars, you'll be reimbursed for your purchase. So that is the shape of your frame. I'm going to set this down here for now. I'm going to go ahead and get your lenses ready. Your prescription reads minus 150 minus 1 at 102. So I'm going to spin the axis wheel to 102 on my Marco 101 lensometer. I'm going to put the power drum on minus 150. Let me just make sure everything is zeroed out. We are good. So we're at minus 150. I'm going to put your lens in and rotate it until the sphere power comes in clearly. At minus 150. Find your optical center. Check your astigmatism correction. And we are good there. So I'm going to put three dots on your lenses. And the third one is always really light. So I'm going to darken that myself. So you can see that at home. And of course this is the right lens. Let me put a big R on there. I'm going to do the same thing now for the left lens. It reads minus one and a quarter minus 75 at 67. I'm going to spin the axis wheel to 67. I'm going to put the power drum on minus one and a quarter. Put your lens in. Rotate it. Yeah, now we're cooking with gas. Everything's looking good. Get everything lined up just perfectly. Now let's go ahead and put those three dots on there. And of course that third one is always too light. So I'm going to darken that. And that is the left lens. Okay, now that that is done, we are good to go. Let's come back over here. And your pupillary distance is 68. So you are 34 in each eye. I'm going to bring that up to 34. The blue cross is the geometric center of the lens. The dead center, if you were to measure vertically and horizontally, that is the middle of your lens. But your pupillary distance is going to sit right there. So I'm going to take your right lens and that center dot. I'm going to put right there in that, in that piece. Get everything lined up on this straight line. Now this is a block. This is what's going to hold your lens in place while it is cutting. It's going to be stuck to your lens. So there's a double sided adhesive sticker on here. I'm going to pull the sticker away. The bright green is the sticky side. This little silver tab is a magnet that's going to hold it in place while I put it into this arm. And now I'm going to hit that button and it's going to cause the arm to drop down and to apply the block to your lens. I'm going to do the same thing now for your left lens. You are actually the same in both eyes. You are 68 millimeters, which is 34 in each eye. This automatically switches over to 34. 
So I'm going to get these dots lined up just perfectly for your left lens. There's a little smudge on there for the one that I drew. So that is lined up perfectly. And now I'm going to get that another block, pull that sticker off, and put it into the arm. Hit this button right here. The arm comes down, puts the block on. So I'm going to grab your right lens. I'm going to go over here to the edger. Now the actual cutting wheel is over here on the far right. This is what's going to grind your lens material away well until it's the final shape. It starts off like this. It's going to end up in this shape. That wheel is going to grind it down. Now this wheel in the center with that little channel, that valley, you have a little bit of a bevel inside your frame. That's how the lens stays inside your frame. That's what's going to be apply that to it. So I'm going to put your lens in. Go ahead and program the machine right quick. Pull up your shape onto the computer. Tell the machine what we're going to do. And then hit the start button. The door is closed. The calipers, or the clamp shuts. Now your lens is going to come up and there's going to be two white calipers. They're going to trace the shape of your frame going all the way around. Measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly where to place the bevel onto the lens so it's going to fit best inside the frame. Now in just a minute that's going to drop down on the cutting wheel and you will hear a grinding sound. Now your lenses are made out of polycarb. Polycarb is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. It is virtually unbreakable and bulletproof up to 22 caliber which is important when you hang around Biggie. Now being from Brooklyn, Anthony said he's been a Biggie fan his whole life and he wants to wear the frame that Biggie wore in every single video and every picture you ever saw of him. And I can't blame him because this is a really nice frame. Really, really nice. Get them while they last. Versace put this out on a limited edition just to keep the value of them high. And of course this frame sells for $270 and of course you get the free prescription lenses when you buy the frame. Now it's applying the bevel onto the lens and just a moment ago your lens was completely flat all the way around. Now the bevel goes on there so it's going to stay inside the frame. And then in the last part of the cutting cycle, a safety bevel that's going to smooth out the back surface of the lens and then the front surface of the lens. This arm drops down. Now the safety bevel is applied. First to the front surface. I know it looks like a car wash in there, but that's what's going on. And now the back surface of the lens. that button which is going to open the chuck up. First thing I'm going to do is draw your lens off so it is not slippery. And then we're going to see if it fits into your frame on the first attempt. I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner, push down at the nose and nope it does not so I'm going to take it back out. I'm going to take it down about a tenth of a millimeter and I'm going to put it back in and hit the retouch button. Now do not want to force your lens in there because it's going to cause the frame to stretch or what we in the business call roll. If you can imagine your frame is like a gutter, if the lens is in there too tight, it's the force applied to the frame is going to make your frame roll outwards. Eventually the lens is going to fall out plus it gives it a terrible cosmetic appearance to it. 
And since I cut every pair of lenses that is shipped all over the world, I am a perfectionist and I'm not going to send out any subpar work because my reputation depends on it. Plus, in a frame this nice, you can't have it jacked up. I know that from experience. No matter how nice a frame is, if your lenses are jacked up, you just ain't going to wear it. So in just a moment the door will open and we'll see if it fits. Now for all of my friends in America who have no idea what a millimeter is, it is the distance between my thumbnails. And I'm going to take one tenth of that distance off until your lens easily snaps into the frame. Door opens. Let's draw your lens off. And again, now let's see if it fits into the frame. I'm gonna tuck it in at the outside corner and using my thumbs, press down and it's almost there. So I'm gonna do it one more time, one more time. And due to the thickness of your prescription, it's not uncommon to have to do this. So I'm gonna take it down again, hit the retouch button. I do thank you for your patience. I know this is gonna take a couple extra minutes longer than normal, but those who settle for the best usually end up getting it. If anyone out there wants this frame, email me with your prescription. This is a larger frame and people with the higher prescriptions do have a little bit more of a challenging time getting it to, to fit in there. But I will do the necessary steps in order to make it happen. Grab my paper towel. Let's open up the clamp. Take your lens out, dry it off again. Now let's see if it fits. Again, I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner first and use my thumbs. I was fighting me. It's fighting me. Let's do it one more time. Where's my little stylus? Here we go. Okay, hit the retouch button. I'm going to take it down a tenth of a millimeter every time until it snaps in perfectly. The golden rule, you can always cut more off of a lens, you can never add it back on. So I start a little bit large and work my way down till it's the perfect size. Trust me, you want a perfectionist cutting your lenses. I apologize this takes a few extra minutes longer, but, but my work will be perfect when complete. Applying the safety bevel to the, the front surface of the lens. And then the back surface.
Get everything ready again. Open the, the clamp up. Let's dry your lens off. Again, tuck it into the outside corner. Push down at the nose. Why are you fighting me? Why are you fighting me? There we go. There we go. Now it's in there. Now we're cooking with gas. So I'm going to do the same thing for the left lens. Let me flip that over to L. I'm going to put that in there. And then actually, because your left lens is a little bit stronger now that I'm looking at it, I'm going to take it down a little bit more. Hit the start button. Just like before, the calipers are going to close, where the clamp's going to close, and now the calipers are going to trace the left side of your lens to make sure it's going to fit into the frame. Measuring the thickness of the lens at every point just to make sure to know exactly where to place the bevel so it fits best inside the frame where you have no edge thickness sticking out. So you have the best cosmetic finished product. I'm going to go ahead and keep working on the right lens. I'm going to take that block off, dry everything off, leaving that red dot there. I'm going to go back to my lensometer. And of course, your axis for your right eye is 102. I'm going to put that back on 102. I'm going to put it into the lensometer. My Marco 101 lensometer. And I am reading minus 150. I've got to get a better light down here. Check your stigmatism correction. You have a full diopter, so I'm reading minus 250, exactly halfway between two and three. The unit of measurement we use in the optical world is called a diopter. And it starts at zero, which we in the business call Plano, everyone else calls non-prescription, and goes up from there in quarter steps, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, one, one and a quarter, 150. Your prescription actually helped me out there. 175 on up to two, up to 20. So without your glasses on, you need six steps of minification to bring everything down to the correct size. Your right eye reads minus 150, minus one at 102. Your left eye reads minus one and a quarter, minus 75 at 67. So this first number makes everything the correct size. You have four steps of astigmatism correction and there is a stigma over the word astigmatism. It just means shape. It's like saying some, someone has straight hair, someone else has curly hair. That is it. It is not a disease. It is not an affliction. But everyone freaks out over that word. So this first number makes everything the correct size. Astigmatism is what makes everything blurry. So 6 and 8 look alike. The letters P and F. So this is like the fine tune knob to make everything nice and crisp. And this last number, 102, if this literally were a knob, we would turn that knob to 102. A straight line is 0 to 180. So we're going to turn that knob just past 90 and we're going to stop at 102. Now your left eye is a little bit better. It only needs five steps of correction and an additional three steps for astigmatism correction. And the first two numbers are real values. This last number, 67, could be anywhere from 0 to 180. But we're going to turn that fine knob back to 67, just before the 90th meridian this time. So the left lens is done. Let's go ahead and take that one out. Yeah, once we get the size just right, it makes the left is a whole lot faster. So I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner, just like I did for the first one. Then using my thumbs, I press down and it snaps in perfectly. So I'm going to use this block to take it off. Set that down, dry everything off again over here. I'm going to go back over to the lensometer. Your, again, 67 is the axis, so I'm going to spin the axis wheel back to 67 put it in Oop, I'm gonna have to remeasure that red dot it got washed off but I am getting minus 150 we're exactly halfway between 1 and 2 check your stigmatism correction and we're at minus 2 now you remember high school algebra where you add like styles like symbols together but I'm gonna do it in today's terms if someone had borrowed a dollar 25 from you then they borrowed another 75 cents they would owe you two dollars we're getting two perfectly and actually, let me put on here your pupillary distance. I'm going to put those dots one more time. Your pupillary distance is 68. So I'm going to hold this up to the light. Let me come back over here. I'm going to put my PD stick on the right lens against my thumb. And then when we come over here, we're getting 68 millimeters for the left lens. So that is cut perfectly. The last thing I want to do is clean your lenses off. And this is when I take the time to explain to everyone 
that when you get these in the mail and if they're a little bit too loose or too tight but more realistically if one side is higher than the other that is because 80 percent of people have one ear that's higher than the other and that is why 99.9 percent .9 of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them but i'm going to get it in standard alignment and that's a three-point stance the three points are one two and the bottom of the frame being three i set them on the counter and press down there is no wobble when i say wobble i'm part of that 80 percent that's why optical shops do free adjustments because mine wobble on the table but they sit level on me i'm gonna flip it over press down there is no wobble i make sure that each temple overlaps perfectly and they do and there's the same amount of tension on each hinge of course these are quality made versace so i wouldn't expect a problem with these but I double check everything before I ship it out. Now, if anyone has any questions about what I can or can't do, just email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. Anthony and Brooklyn, the Biggie Smalls fan, I hope you enjoyed watching as I made prescription lenses for your Versace 4265 color GB1 in the 57 eye size. And everyone else got a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.